Hello, welcome back. During the last video, we got the philosophy tech, which now enables us to build the national college and temples, so we're doing that. And soon I'll start to colonize a bit more and pick up a couple more city sites. So, uh, I'll get going. You have the civilizations uh, Enhanced stats into enhance the religions the Indonesians have. We also discovered the Portuguese, surprisingly, in the southwest of the continent. Turns out this continent is uh, quite a bit bigger than I thought. Right, so I'll buy up this citrus. Don't know what the quest was. Happiness is okay, right, next turn. Friendship treaties are running out as well. Should run out this video. That could, that could cause an issue or two. Certainly with Polynesia. Uh, we've met Laza and they give us four faith. There's quite a few religious uh, minor city-states on this continent. All the civs are religious as well. Uh, so we need, we've got five more turns until we've got a chance of picking up a religion. Couple who have pantheons. I'd be surprised if we don't get a religion, but it is possible. Might want to get a friendship treaty with Portugal in a bit as well. Uh, yeah, Portu- oh no, well, I was looking in between videos and Portuguese were top down and not. Uh, starting to get a bit behind in tech, but it's not too surprising at this stage. The National College will help out a lot though. So, masonry next turn, build the walls up here soon. Which tech next? Could get a trade route from sailing. Might wait a tiny bit for that.
Uh, it's quite a hard decision actually. Uh, I think I'll go horseback riding. We've got quite a few resources that could use a stable in Mecca. Yeah, I'll go to that. Right, next turn. Oh, gold is terrible, you know, it's minus 11, I need to do to something about that. No. If you go below zero in gold, it takes it from your science, so... That's a disaster at this stage, if that happens. <laughs> it's not going to, I'll prevent it. But. Think about building a road between these two cities as well now. There's two, three, four, five, so yeah, it'll be commercially worthwhile. Uh, each road tile, as you probably know, costs a gold, uh, one gold per tile, and you get about you get an ex a gold in a tr for each trade route you make, and I think it's about 1.2. Back, so I'd be earning about a gold piece for that trade route, maybe, or well, it's along those lines. I can't exactly remember. I think uh, it depends on how big population as well, how much you earn. I think of the cities connected to capital. That's what the old. It's the old local trade route system that still exists and existed before Brave New World's uh, modern trading system. Oh wow. Great profit has been born in the city of Mecca. I wasn't expecting that. Did a temple take us over 200? I think one thing that used to annoy me in Gods and Kings was you, even when you passed the 200 mark, you wouldn't necessarily get a great profit. It still says minimum, so I don't think it's been changed. Like you could have go over it for 10 turns and lose out on a religion because someone else nabbed it uh, in Gods and Kings. I don't think the system's changed, but it looks like I just got lucky then and got it straight away. So I'll take that. Poland is already enhanced. And Poland has added a reformation belief as well. Right, I'll create a religion a second.
It's not telling me how long that takes for some reason. Uh, but I need protection at the moment anyway, so I'll send it here. Dina's finish a temple and I'll build walls. Walls of Settler. Walls. Uh, my church on mind in a second now. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'll stop the video a second to see what religion I want to take. I gotta go through all these. Uh, see what everyone else has got, and I'll explain in detail what I picked and why in a second. Okay, so I've picked Islam for my religion, of course. Uh, it'd be a bit strange if I didn't for the Arabia civilization. In terms of what founder beliefs are left, looks like I've been quite lucky. There's still some very useful ones. Uh, ceremonial burials, excellent. Uh, interfaith dialogue is quite good in certain situations, and tithe, uh, very good. Uh, in terms of what the others have picked for founder beliefs, uh, so they've, there you go, it's uh, church property, initiation, initiation rites, and pilgrimage. Uh, so, based, basically, when picking religion, you want to. Uh, Pick a religion based on what strategy you're going to win the game. I think in most senses, in most type, in most situations. So I think there's going to be a lot of combat in this game, and it's going to be mainly warfare. I can see me trying to conquer all three of these civilizations. So that being the idea, I think tithe would be quite good. Uh, for helping me have the money to support a military. Not sure if I'm going to have... That's really useful if you have lots of cities. So that could be useful. And this is a very religious continent. So that would also be useful in trying to switch other cities to our faith. Um, but having said that... I'll probably be using Inquisitors a lot after I've conquered the city rather than missionaries. So I'm going to rule that out. I think I'm going to go Tithe. It's one I usually pick in a lot of circumstances. Not sure how big my empire is going to be, so that's, I'm not going to get that. So Tithe for the f uh, Founder Belief. And for Follower Belief... Uh, because I'm um, going military route, you think I might go for Holy Warriors. The thing is, I'm not sure how much faith I'm actually going to have. I didn't pick a, a Pantheon belief that increases faith. So, and there's not an awful lot of bonus faith tiles anyway, or wonders around here. Even though I went down a piety tree and I've got a bit of extra faith that way. I don't think I've got quite enough uh, to justify going Holy Warriors. Religious community is uh, for really tall cities. Not sure. I don't think I'm going to take that. I'm actually thinking of taking a super shrine strategy. So asceticism and maybe feed the world afterwards. Uh, all the faith building type ones have been taken by the other religious civilizations I'm not sure I would have had the faith to do those anyway so yeah I think the first one I'll pick is asceticism and I'll maybe have feed the world for the next one so I've the my, pirate, my shrines and temples are already half price so I think that would be quite a decent strategy so Asceticism. Yeah. Asceticism will be our first pick. And found religion.
Luckily, no earth religion has really taken hold too much yet. So we're applying the same pressure on the surrounding cities, at least for the moment. Uh, Medina Sally has a Catholic in there. Nuka Heaver's got... Well, all of them have a, a bit of religion going towards them. If I get this city up quickly here, that is within 10 tiles of a lot of these. So I'd have two cities creating pressure. I think my trade route... Just check that. It's not providing pressure, sadly. I think it's only if uh, the route comes from Mecca, maybe. Not 100% sure. We might update next turn, for all I know. Right, so next turn. I'm actually thinking of renewing our friendship treaty. I thought that was next turn actually. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be at least twenty, thirty, if not more turns before I'm ready to attack Samoa or anywhere else of Polynesia. And I'm also worried about the potential World Congress if they get it. Um and I need to focus on getting a couple more cities up, I think, at the moment. So I'll pr try and renew that quite soon, if not now. Yeah, I'll ask now. Aloha mai e ke hoa. A oia, e ho o mau aku. E hakau e ke hoa. Okay, so we're friends again. I'll just quickly save the game to remind me. Polish one runs out next turn as well. Jak ci się podoba moja oferta? Oh, and our trade is running out. Yeah, I can do that again. Full price this time. Guess the Polish one runs out next to. Check the trade route. Yeah, I'm not actually getting religion from it. The food's gone up a tiny bit. It extinguishes in 13 turns, so that's, that's really good.
horse. A horse. My kingdom for a horse. to renew that with Poland. I'll actually ask Indonesia first. Bagyo. Sajar. Halulak Tongolun. Right, so he's still saying no for whatever reason. And so I'll ask Poland. Move Dale. Excellent. Right, so horseback riding is done. I could go sailing to get another trade route. I think I'll delay it a tiny bit more. Uh, we're pious, aren't we? So I could go after, I think if I went after that one, the, there's so many pious uh, civilizations, there's not much point in doing that. Not sure what's up here anyway, this is that I really need at the moment. We're not quite yet building up a military. Go mathematics for now. Uh, we don't have any excess, no, excess, excess resources. I meant to say then. Colonies, new settlers I'll be building very soon now. Looks like everyone's playing happy at the moment. Actually, read on the uh, Fanatics forums that someone was complaining the civilizations were a lot less aggressive, a uh, lot less aggressive in Brave New World than Gods and Kings. And so far in this game, I'm tempted to ag agree, but this is exactly a big sample size. But they don't they haven't been very aggressive so far. I'm sure if I had the hens right next to me, they'd be pretty aggressive, though. Whoa, so Judaism has been founded. Not sure where that is alphabetically in the list, but it's a bit surprising. Don't get to see that fa uh, Judaism founded very often. So we know there's one Buddhist, I think there's one Buddhist civilization, so, hmm. Okay, so what am I doing? Right, next turn. The 
lag issue I had in the last video hasn't returned, which is good. Turned up a couple of my computer's fans and it seems to have gone. And it's a lot less uh, hot here today. I think it was only for about, it only lasted about 10 seconds, te yeah, 10 seconds in the last video I think, cut it out. Uh, I'll start building a road down here as well. I don't actually want Mecca to take that tile. I want the, this city to take it, but I don't think I can do anything to stop it now. It's going to be too late. Uh, if I if this city had that tile, it could build a circus of its own. I think if Mecca takes it, I won't be able to. Be concerned about it being affected by Honolulu's religion down here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a range of mecha, so they're equal basically. Uh, I might still found it then. And I think it's getting close to about half an hour. I'll decide the social policy in the next video. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give it a like. Uh, any comments or questions you would like to make would be great. So I'll try to answer those. Or I'll definitely answer those. And most importantly of all, please watch the next video. And I'll see you next time.